I saw you came in through our website. Yes, actually, um, I did. One of my friends recommended you, and so I went to your website to figure out what's going oh, on. Oh, welcome. So, thank you. Uh, while you were on our website, did you happen to notice the uh, Del Grand dealer group, dealer group Project 100? I did not. Okay, what this means to you mm -hmm. is that we're going to provide a higher level of service, a better environment, and VIP treatment. Oh, okay, good. so while you're here, think of me as your concierge. That sounds fantastic. Does that sound good? <laughs> I okay, like that. good. Now, back to the Miata. Okay. You're here to see the Miata. How are you planning on using this car? Uh, well, honestly, I'm going to be adding it to my fleet. Okay. I'm just kind of looking for a fun weekend car. Fantastic. Um, let's start up front, huh? Okay. Give you a little introduction to the car. Under the hood, this is a two liter power plant. It's 158 horsepower, 140 pound feet of torque. Okay. Considerably less power than what you're driving now. But <laughs> realize, this car only weighs about 2,500 pounds. Alrighty. Your BMW weighs over 3,500 pounds. Oh. Did so yeah, yeah, so about 40% less. Uh, you don't need the power in this car. It's much lighter. That lightweight translates to a few things. Okay. You're going to get excellent handling, excellent performance, uh, suspension. The setup is all set up for a lightweight vehicle. You've got a low center of gravity. The power plant is all aluminum. Okay. Even the hood is aluminum. Feel that hood. Oh my gosh, that's nice really and light. light. Isn't that yeah. light? Probably quite a bit lighter than your BMW. Definitely. Yeah, this is designed to keep the center of gravity low in the vehicles for okay. excellent handling on those turns when you're cruising up through Sonoma. Perfect. Okay, it's going to handle great. Okay, uh, again, performance. You've got a lot of performance features built in. This car, you can tour in it, but it also will perform. Okay. This car is actually set up. You can actually take it to that racetrack up in Sonoma. Really? Absolutely. It's, it's ready to go. Yeah, you've got awesome. performance tires, 17-inch wheels. See these right here? You know what these are? Uh, no, I don't. Are those, those are shock tower braces. Oh, wow. cool. What this does, it helps keep the suspension rigid okay, okay. and keeps the body from flexing. Okay, it ties the car to the suspension and with that low center of gravity, you're going to notice excellent handling characteristics. Okay? Perfect. The performance is best in class. This has been the number one selling Roadster since 1990 when it was introduced. One cool thing, and I have a dog as well, you can put your dog right up front here. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about the airbag because guess what? You can turn it off in this car. Oh, really? Yeah, right over on the other side. You can put the key in there and just turn it off. Cool. It'll never activate with your little doggy in there. Perfect. Yeah, isn't that nice? Keep them safe. Absolutely. Come around the back here. Now, if you're going to use it for touring, one really nice feature of the Miata is the trunk space. Okay. Now, it is a sports car, so it's not huge. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but notice I have the top down, right? Okay. Well, check, the, check this out. Oh, I can definitely fit a couple bags in there. Yeah, over wow. five cubic feet. Perfect. That translates to about three cases of wine. Okay, <laughs> okay. perfect. Thank you. <laughs> and notice the top does not impede the trunk. Okay. So whether the top is up or down, you've got the same amount of trunk space. Okay. Unlike a lot of the competition. Alrighty. Okay. Your, uh, your BMW Z4, your, your Audi A4, uh, <laughs> yeah, some of the Mercedes, the, the SLK. Yeah. Uh, the SLK especially will, it will eat up most of your trunk space when you drop that top. Okay. All of a sudden you're trying to put things in your trunk and you've got no room to put anything in there. The whole point of getting a convertible. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Converting it. You know, there are a couple things that I'm kind of still want to maybe look into, so. Okay. I definitely want to kind of think about it at this point. Okay. I understand a lot of our customers want to think about it mm -hmm. and, and by all means do. Okay. okay. Let me say this. Again, I'm your concierge. Alrighty. Okay. And my goal is to provide 100% of the information you're gonna to need to make an informed decision, okay. okay? If you can sit down with me for just a few minutes, I can give you a lot of information that'll help you make that decision, and hopefully you'll be 100% confident to make a buying decision from us. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's do it. Alrighty, thank you so much, Marty. Thank you. Thank you.